Jonathan, you mentioned that uh, simple doesn't come cheap. Do you guys know from the start how many instruments you can use? And especially given that the size of a Broadway orchestra has shrunk and gotten vastly synthesized over the years? Well, the before we put a orchestra. note to paper, we know what the size is. I'm sorry, Jonathan, you go ahead. The size of the orchestra is dictated to us. Uh, we're told how many players we can have for any given show. It's it's open very slightly to discussion, but it's pretty much dictated. Really? I've had a different experience. I, I Maybe I've been lucky, but for both In the Heights and uh, uh, Hamilton, uh, they were both asked what it is that I wanted, and, and I went back to them. And, and both, yeah, in both cases, they're actually under the minimum of the theater. You're a very lucky man. You're living in a charmed life. This will change. <laughs> Larry, but Naomi, Naomi, I'm not sure if you were asking a different aspect of that question, which is that before we start the process, uh, we know exactly what the orchestra would be. I see, but so, so all so those the second part of happen the, before we even start. The second part of that question is when you reorchestrate and find yourself these days having a smaller orchestra than the original. How well, difficult is that? Well, uh, the uh, for instance, Pippin, I, which I did for the version in 2012 or 13, uh, I knew that the original, which I <laughs> mentioned that I played piano in for a, for a bit, uh, uh, the original had 24 players and I was told we have 12. That was it. I picked my best 12. Now, the, doing a new orchestration of an old show comes in different flavors. Sometimes they want uh, just p a pure reduction and to keep as much of the flavor of the original as possible. And sometimes it's just the opposite. In Kiss Me Kate, uh, I was asked to, knowing that there were not just one, but two completely different versions already, luckily I hadn't heard them yet because the direction I got was, I want you to orchestrate it as if you'd never heard either one. Now I knew that I was placing the style somewhere between them, but not, not really relating to either one. 